What up y'all, welcome back to another episode of my family's 100 pound challenge and lifestyle transformation. Before we hop right into the episode, I want to go ahead and give a plug because today's episode is brought to you in partnership with my friends over at Almond Breeze. If you've been following me long enough, then you know I've been using this stuff for years, and I mean years. I like this as a non-dairy substitute in baking recipes and savory recipes, like for instance, that creamy Alfredo sauce I made and also as a substitute inside of my protein shakes. Instead of using water, I use some of this. Less calories, but also much, much creamier. So if you just go to fitmancook.com and type in almond milk, you will see a ton of recipes that you can make with this. Okay, onto the episode. We are off to Florida. Our first time ever that me and Chris are taking part and not sleeping together. I got to fit across with each other. We done made it to Disney. Got my people with me. Let's see how the day goes. We out here. You ready? We gonna, gonna have a good day. You ready? To do a quick video, we are headed to dinner here in Orlando, Florida for our family vacation. Um, what I can say is, you know that movie Home Alone, where they're getting ready to, you know, get to go on a trip, and Kevin gets um, left behind, and the parent, the family's run around hectic, trying to pack, get things together. That's kind of has been like the last three days. So imagine our family of six and then double that in one household um, with our happy family trying to get ourselves together to just go out to eat. Um, we, we plan dinner at 6.30, for 6.30 at three o'clock, but we're gonna have a great time and, and enjoy our family and friends. Flight. We got an eight o'clock flight to get back to Dallas. Time to get home. Back on the grind. Diet time. Exercise. Eight a.m. in the morning. Hello. Definitely. You ready to go home? We're about to depart. Get home. Get back on my grind. Get back on my workout plan. Had a great week with the boys and Disney. So, so we get back on our grind, right? We get we working out tomorrow, right? We gotta go to workout class. Jackson's got workout tomorrow. Bam's got workout tomorrow. Get the right Jacob. So, went to Florida. And I'm doing my Monday weigh in. <laughs> and it looks so bad. But I didn't gain anything. <laughs> I didn't gain a thing. Checking in for my Monday workout. Back from Florida. Great vacation with the fam. Just love my havoc. Uh, a little bonded there. Um, but getting my workout in at home today. Have some things to do. It is a busy Monday. Recuperating from the weekend. And um, just want to check in real quick. Get a little workout in before I pick up the kiddos. Today is Monday. Back from Disney. We're in this morning at 2.22. We're gonna buckle down, get back to the grind, and uh, see what uh, commitment and responsibility and, uh, and accountability takes. We got another trip planned in uh, January, Atlanta. Another football, huge football event, but uh, that gives me a good month. A good month to uh, buckle down for 30 hard days and uh, Get this diet down. We'll see how it goes. All right, y'all. It's um, it's Monday night, and I am tired, but 
where I'm outside my parents' house. Me and Steph, we wanted to help my parents get going with this Mediterranean diet and um, just get them, you know, a little bit more like motivated. And so I promised them I'd help them to prep. So we came over here to prep their dinner, at least the dinner. And I made another rice dish to see if they would, you know, to see if they would like that one too for lunch. Um, but yeah, so about to go in here and try to cook with my parents and then rush back home because you know, whew, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be an adventure. All right, gonna make this chickpea soup. Got all my stuff over here. What are you doing over there? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, I was looking at the movie. I didn't oh. know you had that on. Smells good. What is that? That's just onion seasoning. The lamb seasoning. Well, one of us is working, and the other is not. Just added in these black olives, some zucchini. So I put in here one of these bay leaves, and then let this simmer for about 20 30 minutes. What kind did you want? Uh. Just added in yeah, the olive. Oh, okay, got right that chicken from the rotisserie oh, chicken right here. Yeah. Oh, good. And then garbanzo right there at the bottom. Got onions okay, in there. So, uh, tomato, a little bit of tomato paste. Be funny, but I bay leaves, and then let this simmer. Yeah, she wants I to do. She wants to do that. That's what I'm saying. Kev, this ain't Kevin's first rodeo with me. Mm -hmm. You know what? That has nothing to do Christmas with it. Christmas Eve used to be big up in here. Mm -hmm. But it's not. But this is not his first rodeo. I love entertaining my friends. Mm -hmm. And you can he still does. do that without those heavy choices. Kevin, am I That's on, what you am I on camera? Huh? Yes, are you're you on camera. Are you recording me? Yes, you know that you are being recorded. Well, bring your weeds over here and eat them. Because Christmas Eve we're gonna have chicken wings, poppers, meatballs, meatballs, crab lump crab dip. So come with your salad. Kevin. Hmm? Kevin Curry. Mom, what do you want? I love you. That has nothing to do with it, mother. Well, you can't be mad at your mother. It's I'm the, not mad at you. In the, it's you're, the, and you're it's the season to be jolly. Now, come over here and give me a kiss. Oh, oh these got uh, yeah. olives oh, in there? Mm -hmm. the That's what those little black things are? Yeah. I thought they were beans. No, these are the beans. Mm -mm, those are olives. Those are the beans. Very good. Isn't that the chickpeas? Yeah, the chickpeas. Mm -hmm. So what's this called? This is Mediterranean um, chickpea, chickpea chicken soup. You can even this take This is very chicken. easy to me, make, isn't it? Yeah. yeah he just stood there was already made, made, made yeah. too. So just... Yeah. Put it together. Mm -hmm. What you can do for next time mm. is cook it, but add the um, add the zucchini the last 10 minutes of cooking. Zucchini so what? Yeah. The last 10 minutes of cooking. So, so it's just not keep soggy. It out. So yeah. what's, giving, what's giving it that flavor? It's got a nice flavor. I think those olives. That and also um, whenever you cook it up, you know the seasoning that I put in there, the land seasoning. Uh -huh. Land seasoning. Whenever you you know how to bloom it, you cook it with the oil. You put the seasoning in there with the onions and oil. I saw what you did. Yeah, okay. and that. And I do a lot of that when I'm cooking. I always saute my onions and all of that stuff uh -huh. up, and then put all the other stuff on there after put the seasoning place. in there with it's the onions. Good fireplace soup. Uh, put the seasoning mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. That's, a, That's delicious, Kim. I'm all about the cozy around the holidays. Anything warm? I'm, I'm praying it's so cold Christmas Eve, so we got so much wood to burn. Mm -hmm. I think the coldness is probably going to come after Christmas. It will. Oh. I think it's going to be in February time frame again. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up? Yeah. Thumbs, Thumbs up. up. Thumbs up. It was great. Thumbs, Thumbs up. up. Hey, All right. shirts up. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go drop off this other stuff to Chris. Okay. Chris and D. All right. Bye. Bye, baby. I love you. You too. Uh, go from my parents' house over to Chris and D's, and I made them the other option in the Mediterranean plan. I made them the the, the quick grain bowl, the Tuscan one. 
So I'm gonna go in there to see how they react to this. All right, it's a little different, but it's got the sun-dried tomatoes. Um, instead of garbanzo, I know Chris doesn't like those, we use white beans. Okay. Instead. I see some uh, olives. And there's some olives in there, onion, sauteed, and then it's also um, zucchini. Zucchini. What do you think? Oh, I like my food hot though. It's mm -hmm. good though. And it seems very healthy. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean it tastes very healthy? <laughs> what? Um, you can I mean, put. You can tell that it, it doesn't have any lard and fat in it. <laughs> It got tons of fat in there, actually. It's pretty high calorie because you got the olives in there and then the oil that you taste, that's sun-dried tomato oil. For real? You just saying that? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, forgive me. I'm just wrapped up because I got on my PJs. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see if my brother's going to like it, though. That's the, that's the real test. Favorite? Is that my favorite? Hey! It's my favorite. Hey, man! What's up, favorite? Hey, what's up, my favorite? Hey, what's up, Jameson? So I wrote my mental notes uh -huh. you know, in my bathroom, and he yeah. was in that thing to do. Don't drill it for us. Help yourself as well. Who said that, Jackson? Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> so that was his comments after reading what was on the bathroom. Don't do it, Jasper, only for us. Yeah. Yeah. Jackson is too much. Why he's like a 40 year old man? And it's the Grinch that stole every holiday. Hey, Chris. How well have you and Dee been getting along with all the cooking? Have you, got, have you got tried anything on the thing yet? On the little the Mediterranean thing? Not in a bad way. Do we the, just, we, this is the so first thing. Slow down. I mean, we've gone to Florida for the last yeah, yeah, five, six days. Like a <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, after being in Florida for a week, I didn't gain any. You know, they that's didn't good. Lose anything either? So that's not. I gained two pounds. You did. You gained two pounds. I said I gained two pounds. Okay, you can be a little bit lighter on it. Okay. It is quinoa. No. That's uh, rice, it's brown rice. A little sweeter. Take a lunch. What do you, it's different. I got the way you're not cooking. No, but it's actually healthy, it's really good. I'm not sure what you snack on at work. D is work. so shady. <laughs> <laughs> what do you snack on at work? Do we need to go to your secret stash? She, she got a secret stat? Yeah. What's in With them Kool-Aid pickles? Oh, no, the whole Skittles no. and all that. that was, I took those from I, the kids. Oh, now I took from the kids. I took those from How the many have you had? They're still in the closet. The whole bag. I have not. So why you take a whole bag from the kids and now it's half a bag? Because, know, because Jameson knows where it is. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so okay, so now Jameson. What up? What's up, my favorite? What's up? How you doing? So, um, is it approved? It's all right. It's you edible. Don't it. I know. There's no meat, but it's high in protein already. It's complex cardio to keep you full and energized. This tastes good. Okay. Thank you a lot. All right. Yeah, it's different. This took me 15 minutes to put together. Less than that, actually. We bring some old meals over. <laughs> Since it's so easy. Yeah. It's yeah. So easy. All right. So I know that everyone's used to them giving confessionals, my family members giving confessionals about where they are. I, I wanted to stop in here and give my assessment on this whole experience, what I'm feeling right now. And I think the first thing is like, I feel like I'm stuck right in the middle. Like I am stuck between, this is such an amazing experience and opportunity for us to do something as a family. And another part of me is like, did you make a mistake? Part of the reason why I feel like it could be a mistake is because this is a really hard time to be doing any type of wellness challenge or we're the least active and we're eating a lot more of the higher calorie foods. But I struggle with it. I struggle with whether or not this was the right time to go ahead and do that. I wish there was a little bit more adoption across my entire family of really trying to um, make this lifestyle change. Part of the pressure that I'm feeling, I know that I've put on myself, because I've always just put a lot of pressure on myself to, to achieve my goals and whatever I do. And I think that since this one's really personal, I'm taking almost everything personally. 
and I'm trying to get out of my head about that because that's not right. And it's also not being as enjoyable for me just because I'm internalizing a little bit too much of this stuff. And I'm sharing this out there for somebody else who also could be in a, in a similar situation. And I'm thinking about this a lot more because what I don't want to do is I don't want for my frustration and my anxiety for us to really get to this goal, for it to color this entire experience. Like, there's a lot of funny stuff that's going on. There's a lot of fun stuff being able to interact with my family, you know, watching Steph prepare salads and stir fries. I think there's a lot of fun in that. And I don't want my frustration and my, my own internal focus about like, we gotta get this goal, or we gotta go ahead and do this to color everything else that's, that's going on. And that's feedback for me. That's something that I'm dealing with right now. Me, my own personal weight loss journey, it's going okay, but I think that more focus on myself too could actually prove a lot more beneficial. Focusing on myself isn't such a bad idea. It's never a bad idea to focus on yourself and to give yourself that care because then I could discover other ways that I could take my wellness to the next level. Another thing I want to talk about was the interaction between me and my mom. You know, I feel like I come off as like hammering this and you gotta do this and no we can't, blah, blah, blah. But that's what you all see on camera. And the frustrating part for me is what you don't see off camera. You don't see the reaching out for help. You don't see the questions about, oh, well you put me on a meal plan. And then I'm handing it to you. I'm walking through it with you. I'm even cooking for you. And then you go against that, like right in my face. Because I know that later on in about a month or two, oh, can you show me what to eat? Can you do this and that? And it's and so that's the part that's really frustrating and seeing what overindulgence has done not just to me to my family to other people i can't relax with that i can't just play cool and oh let's just kiss and i love you too it, i just can't it makes me angry i know that we can do better and i know that in this particular setting, it's not even about the food, it's about the togetherness. But we're letting our addiction to those calorie dense foods take precedence over the real purpose of getting together in the first place, which is Christmas Eve and for us to just to share holiday cheer and have dad play on the piano and everything else like that. You're making this about what you want in terms of food. And maybe the same can be said about me. Like maybe Kevin, you're making this all about what you want in terms of health and wellness. But here's the deal. This is something that you wanted. And so I'm reminded though that in those times, it takes having to remind people and being quote unquote, the bad guy to remind people of their goals, even when they've forgotten them, even though it could have been two weeks ago. And that's what commitment is. It's staying, it's staying committed to your goals, even when that desire has left you. Remember that you have personal wellness goals too. And here's the kicker. You don't have to put those onto the back burner in order to have that feeling, in order to get the family together. They can, you can have both. You can't say, hey, I want this wellness goal, but I still wanna do whatever I want. No, you gotta be uncomfortable a little bit. You gotta be inconvenienced a little bit. That's what happens. That's just not even with health and wellness. That's with almost any goal, any goal that you want is gonna require you to be uncomfortable. And if you're not comfortable with that discomfort, that's all I'm gonna say. Besides the fact of just showing them just how easy it was to put together the meals, I also wanted to show them the importance of cooking in general because I've noticed in that in all of their blogs throughout the weeks, they've, they've been comfortable showing the working out. And I think that's it's a commentary on something that, that we all do. That, that will go to what's easiest to us. And at times, we will endure physical pain. Think about this for a second. We'll endure physical pain more than change our eating habits. And for me, this was, this became crystal clear because I was working out like three hours a day, going to the gym, going to a spin class or cardio class in the morning, doing weights at night, three hours a day for a full year. And my body never changed because my diet didn't change. I wanna to try to show them how much easier it is to do that cooking. All that energy that they're spending in the gym is gonna be accelerated. And if it's accelerated, they'll be enthusiastic about making that change. I can't even criticize or fault that because that's something that we all do. We're all gonna reach for what's easiest to us. And when it comes to Steph, I'm not as concerned about her 
um, for a couple reasons. The first is that she's really good at compartmentalizing and so whenever something needs to be done in terms of a task, whether it's a wellness goal or any goal that she has, she can just kind of flip that switch and go into laser focus mode and she'll do what needs to be done. And secondly, I'm really careful in relationships that I'm in to bring up matters about weight loss and wellness and things like that. I don't want her to think that that's tied to my happiness in this relationship. It's the way that you make me feel and the way that we feel about each other. That's what makes, that's what's gonna make me happy. Now, the more and more I do the endurance stuff and the 5Ks and the triathlons and the marathons and stuff like that and the working out, I don't push that on her. If she wants to share that with me, great, but it's not a requirement for the relationship. So that's why perhaps you kind of see me, I don't really push that as much right there. Now, she is involved in this challenge and babe, you do need to lose your, you know, pull your weight. And even though she still is, you know, a platinum member of Grubhub and Uber Eats and all those delivery services, I have noticed that her choices for those meals has changed, which, hey, plus, giving grace to everybody, giving grace to myself, we're all changing, we're all evolving. The word that keeps popping up in my head and in my spirit is grace. Kevin, your own path to wellness wasn't just like this or like this. It was going around the way and whatnot. So it does take time. Making changes to habits that we've had for a lifetime is not an easy thing. And if anything, I want to do that in love and I want to remind myself of that. And I also want to remind anyone that's watching this who also has been trying to really encourage that family member to, to turn the corner and start making better decisions or more healthful decisions for them. I'll tell you what, it's gonna take some time, it's gonna take some patience, but one thing that I do know will always work is when you love somebody through that. And loving sometimes means the hard conversations, but it also means backing away. It means reminding people of their goals, but it also means giving them grace whenever they perhaps don't reach that at that moment. This is all growth for all of us in this challenge. Okay, I'll see you next week.